Aloha, I'm Jason Lee. Welcome to the Big Island of Hawaii. I make my home here because I can grow kalo, taro, the native staple. I can live off the land, I can go fishing, and to be self-sustainable and independent. These are the reasons for my love of the islands and my love of my culture and to live the lifestyle of my ancestors as close as I can. It means the most to me because this is being in harmony with nature and is taking care of our environment and our future generations, as we say, our keiki. So sit back and relax and enjoy Hawaii's island of adventure. Eola, 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 Aloha and e komo mai. Welcome to the island of Hawaii, Hawaii's island of adventure. I'm Malika Dudley. I was born and raised right here on this island, a place so big and so diverse that it has many names. The island of Hawaii is known by its most popular name, the Big Island, primarily because of its size, over 4,000 square miles. It is also nicknamed the Volcano Isle and the Orchid Isle. I'm honored to have had the privilege to travel and represent Hawaii, and I can emphatically say that the island of Hawaii is the only place in the world where the word extraordinary defines everything that is here. The land, beautiful, vast, complex, and alive, generating life. The water, a pristine living world of wonder that embraces our island. Pele, whose mystical and mythical powers embrace our beliefs and our aloha spirit, the thread of life that connects us with each other and our past and future generations. Nearly two centuries ago, Captain James Cook landed here in Kealakekua Bay. He discovered a culture that had already been here for nearly 2,000 years. And many of the traditions that Hawaiians have practiced through the centuries are still a part of everyday life. Hula, agriculture, wellness, fishing, canoe building, celestial navigation, and living the aloha spirit every day. Today, less than 10 generations after Cook's discovery, Hawaii has become a unique, harmonious blend of cultures. In the beginning, a fiercely proud Hawaiian people are living treasures. Early immigrants from Japan, America, the Philippines, Spain, Portugal, and China came, and the growth continues today. In an ever-changing world, our traditions are still as alive today as they were two millennia ago, perpetuating our history, our land, our customs, and our beliefs, and most of all, our aloha spirit. Hawaii is where land, water, hele, people, and spirit come together to form one extraordinary experience. It is this adventure we want to share with you. Now, let me show you why Hawaii Island is so extraordinary. There are eight major islands in the Hawaiian island chain. Of these, Hawaii is the largest and most diverse. Geographically, you can place all of the other islands within the island of Hawaii. 11 of the 13 climate zones that exist on Earth are found right here. Massive volcanoes formed our island, including Mauna Kea, the tallest mountain in the world from ocean base to peak. Hawaii is the youngest of the Hawaiian Islands. And the Polynesians discovered this island first, here at Kalai, after journeying thousands of miles from the South Pacific. Just a few reasons why the island of Hawaii is, well, extraordinary. And there are so many adventures to be experienced. Getting here is easy. We have two international airports in Hilo and in Kailua Kona. When planning your trip, have your journey take you to both sides of the island. 
Accommodations range from posh oceanside resorts with outstanding spas and golf to quaint inns and bed and breakfasts. When you're ready for your adventure, start with our exciting festivals that celebrate our heritage, our hula, our spirit, even food and wine. Bike through the countryside. Take a helicopter or small plane tour. Horseback ride across the slopes. Or hike through ancient valleys and trails. Take an exhilarating cruise. Or even kayak. And for those long-awaited, just taken nice and easy days, you can do this, or even this. So where should you go? Let's start with Hilo on the east side. Hilo has a unique history and beauty. Nestled on Hilo Bay at the foot of Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea, Hilo is a city that's proud of its heritage and pace of life, simple and pure. While you're here, visit the Lyman Museum, where an amazing account of Hawaiian history and its culture comes to life. Next door is Lyman Mission House, the oldest missionary house in Hawaii. Along the bayfront, stroll through Queen Viliuokalani Gardens, a 30-acre authentic Japanese garden built at the turn of the century. Discover Imiloa Astronomy Center, where you'll explore interactive exhibits telling stories of Mauna Kea with its world-famous astronomy and rich traditions of Hawaiian culture. Visit boiling pots on the Wailuku River and just downstream, beautiful Rainbow Falls. See East Hawaii's macadamia nut and tropical fruit orchards, coffee farms, flower and plant farms, or even the farmer's markets. There are also beautiful botanical gardens, plus museums and cultural centers. And each spring, find your seat at the Merry Monarch Festival, where hula comes alive during this famous week-long competition. My biggest dream is to take hula into the 21st century. Still having hula that's traditional, but the stories still are ongoing now. Now, let's head to the only erupting volcano in America, Kilauea. Located in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, the Hawaiian people pay homage to this massive mountain and celebrate Pele, our Hawaiian volcano goddess. Explore lava fields, cinder cones, steam vents and craters, and witness the creation of Earth, born from fiery lava. Inside the park, the Volcano Arts Center offers a truly unique Hawaiian experience through demonstrations, art and culture. For an overnight stay, there's a hotel and bed and breakfast nearby. The endangered nene, our Hawaii state bird, also takes up residence here, as well as the elepai'o, a beautiful but endangered bird known for its song found only here. Heading south, you'll discover Punalu'u Beach Park, a rare black sand beach where Hawaiian green sea turtles bask in the afternoon sun. Or see a green sand beach, which took millions of years to form. Another adventure awaits you on the northern part of the island, the fertile Hamakua Coast, starting with Akaka Falls. This cascading 400-foot waterfall is a romantic symbol of paradise. Heading northward, cruise through small towns and villages, including Honoka'a, the gateway to Waipio Valley. Centuries ago, over 2,000 Hawaiians lived and thrived here. It was the center of political and religious life. Generations of families have cared for this sacred aina, or land, and taro, a root grown in shallow water, remains the staple crop of many locals. The taro plant can be used in a lot of ways. We use it to make poi. We use the leaves of the plant to make spinach or to also make lao laos. Taro is culturally connected to the islands and taro is our Hawaiian staple. Moving inland, there's Waimea for a unique Paniolo adventure. What's a Paniolo? It's our Hawaiian cowboy. Waimea celebrates the Paniolo and the spirit of the open range with rodeos, parades, and heritage festivals throughout the year. 
The first style of slack key music was a gift to our Paniolo from the Spanish vaqueros, who first educated the Hawaiians in the ways of ranching, which continues today. Hawaiian slack key music is very important to Hawaiian culture. Hawaiians have an oral tradition, and so most of our stories are passed down from one generation to the next through our music. Waimea is also home to Kahua Ranch, as well as Parker Ranch, one of the largest privately owned ranches in America. In Waimea, you'll also discover superb museums, performing arts, and agricultural tours. And as you look up, witness the spectacle of Mauna Kea, over 13,000 feet high and the best place in the world to see the majesty of our universe. Our Hawaiian ancestors navigated by the stars that are seen today by the world's most powerful telescopes. Moving to the northwestern tip of the island, you enter North Kohala, dotted with small villages, among them Havi and Kapa'au. A towering statue of King Kamehameha I can be seen here. Pololu Valley and its stunning coastline are worth the hike. Visit the National Historic Site Pu'ukohola Heiau, located above Kauaihai Harbor. King Kamehameha I built this temple or Heiau as an offering to the gods to ensure his success in uniting the Hawaiian Islands. Continuing south, travel along the Kohala coast, home to some of the world's most luxurious resorts and hotels, with spas for wellness, balance, and rejuvenation. This is the only place where you can find such a wonderful and peaceful energy. And this is the type of energy that fuels our bodies and our minds and our spirit. And it brings to all of our guests and travelers a different perspective on what Aloha is all about. Pristine beaches for sun-filled days and sunsets for romantic nights. Whale watching excursions offer a glimpse of our visiting humpbacks. Take a walk through petroglyph fields and around Hawaiian fish ponds. This is also known as the golf capital of Hawaii with some of the world's most beautiful championship courses. On the due west side of the island is the Kona Coast and Kailua Kona, home of King Kamehameha the Great and Hawaiian royalty. Pulihe'e Palace is one of only two royal palaces in America. Visit Mokuaikawa Church, the first Christian church built in Hawaii. For the ultimate in sports adventure, the Ironman Triathlon World Championship takes place here each October. Kailua Kona also hosts the Queen Liliuokalani Canoe Race, the world's largest long-distance canoe competition. For an angler's adventure, take the challenge of reeling in a thousand-pound marlin, or take the plunge for some of the world's best water sports, snorkeling and diving with colorful reef fish and sea turtles. The clarity of our waters is a true testament to our respect for the environment. Just south is the resort community of Keho, rich in beauty and the history of our Hawaiian monarchy. Up the slopes of Hualalai, discover Holua Loa, a quaint art and coffee community. The world's most famous coffee is also grown on this coast. Prized Kona coffee is a century-old industry, and you can learn about it with a visit to the Living History Coffee Farm. Coffee plantations, macadamia nut, and tropical fruit farms are found up and down the slopes. Moving south, there's Keala Kikua Bay, a pristine marine life conservation district that's surrounded by dramatic sacred cliffs. A monument honoring Captain James Cook's discovery and death sits on the water's edge. And to truly take an adventure back in time to old Hawaii, visit Pu'uhonua Ohonauna, the place of refuge. Here, you'll learn about Hawaiian customs and early everyday life. Lots to do? Did your adventure just get bigger? Whatever your desire here on the island of Hawaii, it's yours. Relax, learn, explore. Nowhere else can you stand atop the world's tallest mountain, dusted in snow, and two hours later, snorkel and dive in the world's clearest waters. Explore a waterfall, or experience an active volcano. This is an island for wellness, for the body and soul. A place where renewable energy sources and respect for the land is foremost. 
Our history is alive and accessible through museums, events, and our people. A proud people that will welcome you with open arms and remind you that whatever your soul thirsts for, you will find it here. Ekipa mai, come and be our guest on the island of Hawaii, Hawaii's island of adventure. Aloha and a hui ho! For more information about the island of Hawaii, contact the Hawaii Island Visitors Bureau. Call 1-800-648-2441 or visit our website at bigisland.org.